Similarly, if you have to add a, a NO2 group, as we used, remember on benzene, we added nitrating mixture. Nitrating mixture is H2SO4 plus HNO3. Then this nitrating mixture adds a nitro group on the benzene ring. So that's this benzene became nitrobenzene. Similarly, if we uh, want to add nitro group on aniline, then we can also, here also we can have the same procedure. If we add nitrating mixture to aniline, then nitration will occur. But the problem is double nitration will occur. If we add nitrating mixture here, then as we have discussed a moment back, this aniline, the phenyl ring in this aniline is highly activated. Because it is activated, there will be double nitration done. In order to reduce that, we'll follow the same technology as we followed in the last case. If you if you make a amide out of this aniline, if you add a acyl chloride or if you add an acid anhydride, and if you make a amide out of this aniline, and now if you add nitrating mixture, if you add a nitrating mixture now. I'm doing a little fast. I'm not discussing what nitrating mixture is and how the nitration occurs because I'm assuming that this have been done before and you have studied that. This we did just to remind you when we studied electrophilic substitution of benzene ring. And if you're unable to find, just type on YouTube electrophilic substitution of benzene college pedia. You'll get that video. And you just study that in case you have not done it because it will be a little bit troublesome for you because I'm going a little fast, assuming that this has been done before. So if you haven't studied this before, please go and um, study that from any source, anywhere. This is an, if you add nitrating mixture now, then there will won't be dinitration, there will be mono, mono nitration. And because of hindrance at ortho position, that nitro group will go to para position. And again, as we did for the last case, when you go for hydration, you hydrate this, this will come out and from right, left hand part, you'll get aniline. You'll get para nitro aniline. All right. So this is the kind of reactions that this aniline ring will have. This, this, this was the fourth kind of reaction that it had. And this kind of reaction was uh, ring substitution of aniline we move on to the fifth reaction and fifth reaction is a very very important reaction this is called as carbyl amine reaction okay what happens in this reaction is we take a one degree amine amine necessarily has to be one degree and we take chloroform. We can take bromoform and iodoform as well for that matter. If we take chloroform and if we take base, a little amount of heat has to be provided here. We'll see why. But you have to give heat. You'll get a isocyanide. And just to balance it, you'll have 3 KCl plus 3 H2O. Thing that you have to remember is you will have a carbyl amine in carbyl amine reaction. You get a one degree amine, you take a base and chloroform and you end up in isocyanide. This is very important. This is carbyl amine reaction. This reaction will also be happening for aniline. If you have instead of R, if you have an aromatic ring. If you have a phenyl ring, then also the reaction will be same. And you'll have KCl and water. But the point is, from amine, you'll have a isocyanide like this. If you take chloroform and if you take a base along with it. So first of all, we'll be looking at the mechanism and we'll be solving certain practices 
problems on this then you'll be acquainted with this what this reaction is for time being carbylamine reaction gives you isocyanide starting with amine and quickly know the reagent because the reagent is what will give you information about the reaction looking at reagent you have to identify the reaction that's the key in this whole organic chemistry so quickly clinched with this reagent what this reagent is in carbyl amine reaction apart from knowing that your one degree amine is going to give you isocyanide so let's start the process what's going to happen you are having a amine and you are having a you're having chloroform and you have taken base balancing is not very much important in these kind of reactions have taken base i have taken chloroform and i have taken amine now base is something that abstracts hydrogen that hydrogen will be abstracted either from amine or chloroform both has acidic hydrogen the hydrogen in this chloroform is more acidic because of d orbital resonance with this chlorine and minus i effect of chlorine so let's start simple acid base reaction so you are going to get this chloroform in anionic form and water is going to come out now if your memory serves you well you will be reminded of a reaction that we have done in the past and we did exactly the same step we took chloroform we took base and this happened and this was produced and something happened next and we also took heat in this that reaction you have to uh, you have to in, in case you are not getting that reaction you have to you have to bring that reaction out from your memory you have to stress your brain a little bit and you have to know that reaction because that's the way that's the learning process when you when you see something you relate it to something which you have done in the past when which you already know now this is something that we have done and you have to get the name of the reaction in which this happened now you have to think about it and as far as can i as far as i can think that reaction was rimer timen reaction in which you took phenol and you take ex you took exactly the same reagent you took chloroform and you took base so this part of the reaction is going to be the same and if your memory serves you really well you will know that that carbene was formed in rimer timen reaction and that's the first reaction in which we studied about carbene so carbene will be formed here because you have taken heat you have to take heat here it has whether it's mentioned or not if you are taking amine heat has to be taken here right now if you have taken heat and if you heat it then cl minus is going to come out and carbene is going to be produced fine like this now this is highly unstable it cannot remain in the system as it is for long this has to go for reaction because it is electron deficient now someone in the system which is electron rich have to rush towards this molecule to give electron to this because this is causing instability in the system fine now which is electron rich species in the system of course it's nh2 now this nh2 is going to give its electron to this carbene so a coordinate bond is going to be formed between nitrogen and this carbon and what we are going to get out of it because of this coordinate bond a negative charge will appear on this carbon and a positive charge will appear on nitrogen so both will try to get rid of their respective charges this chlorine have a option it, it it has a mechanism of getting rid of its negative charge by throwing out cl minus and nitrogen also has a mechanism of getting rid of its plus charge by throwing out h plus so both will utilize their respective mechanisms to get rid of their respective charges